I thought I would try a reptile heat pad to use with colored pencils. It comes with an on-off switch, which is pretty handy. I had to put a little dot of fingernail polish on it so I could tell which was on and off. I set it here for about three-quarter heat, uh, no higher for this demo. And this is a countertop saver. It's a non-slip glass countertop saver. It has little rubber feet, and I place that on top of the heat pad so they are flush to one another. I have the little rubber feet on this countertop um, saver facing up, not down, so the two surfaces are flush together. I am then ready to put my drawing onto the glass. I tape it on and I get ready to start using my color pencils as soon as it heats up. Notice how I left the glass exposed on the right hand side to rest my hand on a cool surface. And with a few minor adjustments, I'm ready to go. The left side of this flower I completed while the heating pad was three quarters of the way hot. This one I decided to put layers of colored pencil down while it was heating up. So it's cool right now. It's gonna heat up as I'm putting more layers on. I just thought I'd do an experiment to see if there would be a difference in blending um, when it came to that point. Um, or if it's better to start hot and just do the whole thing hot. So you'll see later on in this video that I did have a little bit of a trouble blending um, because I began layering um, pencil cool rather than doing the whole thing hot. So right there you could see I touched the paper to see how warm it, it was and it is starting to heat up now so you can see with this application the difference in, in how it's going down uh, with a lot more pigment uh, and the color showing very well. Earlier I had applied colored pencil cold to that petal at the top of the tulip. So the color is cold, but right now the pad is hot. So I'm going to test out colorless blenders. This is the Lyra Rembrandt Blender Blender. Um, I found that I had to use a pressure 4 on the scale of 1 to 5 it would be a little harder than writing your name on a piece of paper. And as I'm doing this, I'm not satisfied. It doesn't seem to be blending the way I would like it to blend, especially knowing that the color is hot. Um, so I'm switching now to try the Derwent Colorless Blender. And I'm finding that I don't need to push as hard at all as I did with the Lyra. Uh, and it's blending nice and smooth, almost like butter. Getting into all those little valleys in the paper, working nicely. Okay, now I'm moving over to the area that had the color applied with the pad warm, and I'm blending it with the pad warm. I'm cleaning off the tip of the Lyra Colorless Blender before I start applying about a number four pressure again to blend these colors in. And 
And I noticed again, even with the colors applied warm, it's not blending like I would like. So I'm switching to the Derwent. I'm gonna clean the tip of the Derwent of any color from the previous blending I did. And start with a lighter pressure than I did with the Lyra. And again, it glides nicely. It's blending nicely. It's just really better than the Lyra. So I'll continue on blending and we'll see what the results are. Okay, as I was blending, it was obvious to me that uh, I could have used more heat. So I turned it all the way up and continued blending and it sure did help. I hope you can see how well this is working. All the little dots are going away and it's blending much more smoothly now that it's a little warmer. I hope this gives you a little bit of a feel for what it's like to use colored pencils on a reptile heat pad. It was fun. Thanks for watching.